Hey everybody, it's Kathy Littlermoo with HCG, and I know it's been a long time since I've been on here. Um, I'm going to touch base with everybody. First of all, I, before I forget, I want to wish everybody a, a happy Thanksgiving. Um, ahead of time, usually. I'm behind. Um, okay, well, I'm going to catch you up. Um, it looks like... Um, the end of August, I decided I was going to do a round, um, and for anybody who doesn't know me um, or didn't watch that a little bit of uh, information that went through then, um, I did it without weighing. Um, my son weighed me um, and uh, once a week, and um, so I did the whole round not having any idea what the scale said. It was really... Um, liberating and um, and I really liked it um, because uh, a lot of times like I've been watching people um, you know you have tiny losses um, sometimes and, and you'll be doing everything right and like um, I don't know if it's Stephanie HCG maybe but um, you know she's even having gains and so I know how frustrating that is. Um, so, so I went way out there on a limb and I didn't weigh at all during the whole round. Um, my son just told me, okay, you know, you're, you're uh, going down. That's about all he would tell me. And, and that was good. Um, it was a very short round. It was like uh, 21 days or something like that, uh, 23. And, um, and I think I lost 15 pounds. Um, okay, let me back it up a little more. Um, I had lost um, back uh, the lowest that I've ever been was in April. And um, and in April, um, I had gotten down to 158. Um, and then I just creeped myself back up to the um, beginning of that round. I was 185, so I uh, figured out it's 27 pounds. Um, and I loaded, and during that load, I gained like three pounds. And so, um, anyway, uh, that's what I did. So, um, I guess, uh, well, it says here from the very top of load, I lost 18.8. .8. I don't know. Anyway, about 5.6 of it was load. So, anyway, um, I got down to, uh, 173.4, and I hovered there for a week or two. And then I started creeping up. And um, it looks like in um, the latter part of October, I hit, uh, like the 19th of October, um, I hit 180. And, um, and then uh, the 20th, I hit 180. And then, um, and then I quit weighing for a while. And um, the 9th of November, I weighed again, and I was 185.4. Um, this morning, um, I, uh, over the weekend, we did a lot of yard work. Um, we we're getting ready for our garden for next year, so we um, shoveled the truck full of compost all over the garden and tilled the garden. and. You know, picked up in the yard. I planted flowers and all kinds of stuff. So um, I was stiff. And um, anyway, uh, this morning I weighed at 184.6. Um, I joined a gym uh, and I went through with a trainer yesterday uh, so she could show me the different equipment and what they did and um, and all that and um, the cardio equipment 
And my plan is, um, as of right now, uh, to do that at least three days a week, um, maybe more, um, but at least three days a week. Um, and each day um, work a different part of my body with the weights um, and do at least 20 to 30 minutes of cardio. Um, I'm also going to try uh, to eat with hunger. Um, I'm going to try to, um, you know, to eat good. Um, uh, I tell you, it's, um, I don't know, I still have difficulty with the hunger thing. I think if I, uh, if I don't think about it, um, you know, if I don't, if I, if I'm super busy, like when we were out this weekend, super busy, um, you know, we, we didn't eat until noon, um, and then, you know, then again at six. Uh, but, um, I don't know, it's like, when I, when I say I'm going to do something like this, then, then I obsess on that part of it, you know, like, okay, I'm going to eat with hunger, and then food is on my freaking mind all day long, and, excuse me, um, I don't know. I, I just know that I need to um, get it back down. I really don't want to do another round. And I really don't know where perfect uh, is. I would love to get back down to 160. I was 158. And you know, if I could get down there or, or below, that would be awesome. But um, I'd love to be 160. Um, that's... 24 pounds away, 25 almost, it's, I mean, I'm 184.6 today, so, um, you know, can I do that without HCG, and then I'm coming into the holidays, so, um, that's a whole nother ball game, um, I'm having all of my family this Saturday after Thanksgiving, and my family and my husband's family uh, together, so, um, I'm going to have a gigantic house full of people. Um, and, you know, I just want to do this. I want, my birthday is in March, and, uh, and I want to be at a healthy uh, weight, and I want to be um, set there. You know, I mean, I would love to, by, you know, January, February, kind of be there, and by March, be beginning to be comfortable in it. Um, I, I have a lot of activities planned for this next year outside uh, with the garden and flower beds and and um, and so I think that that kind of thing will keep me busy um, but I have all winter before that so um, so anyway uh, I just thought I would come in here and, and let everybody know where I am and, and what's happening to me and I don't know that I'm going to weigh every day, but I, I do know that it was very liberating when I was on protocol to not weigh. And the reason that it was fine is because if you're truly doing what you're supposed to during protocol, it will eventually work, period. You know, um, so, but when you decide you're just going to go willy nilly and not weigh, because, um, you know, I'm living proof of that. Um, and, um, and it's not HCG's fault that I gained. It's um, at all. I mean, I, you know, I've eaten what I've wanted to eat in more than the quantity that I should have. And so um, I think if I would have just eaten what I wanted to eat in a little bit, it would have been okay, but, um, but I didn't do that. So um, now I have to pay the consequences, and um, but I want to get it off before it gets any higher. Um, so anyway, uh, that's where I am. Um, if you're in a round, 
Um, I hope that you're losing. Um, Ms. HCG Girls doing great. Um, if you're not losing and you're in a round, uh, be patient because it'll come off. You know, it will come off. Um, uh, and if you're having problems with stepping on scale, stop stepping on scale for a little while. You know, just follow protocol, do exactly what you're supposed to do, and get off the scale for a little bit, you know. And then, then like, um, um, not the Fowers or whatever her name is, I can't remember, Kathy is her name. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, she's weighing on the weekends. Um, you know, maybe that's the way to do it. And maybe that's what I'll end up doing is like once a week. Um, I'll step on the scale. Um, plus, I'm going to start building muscle with lifting. I know that you can't help but do that if you're, um, you know, if you're lifting weights and muscle weighs more than fat. And so, um, I, I very well may have the scale going up, and and that's okay. I, I would, um, I would much rather be a muscle. I'm not going to be a muscle-bound person, but I would much rather be a muscle-bound 200-pound two, you know, which that's not going to happen either, but you know what I'm saying. I mean, muscle, five pounds of muscles like this, five pounds of fats like this, so um, I'll take the five pounds of muscle, so, um, but anyway, um, that's where I am, and, uh, and so... Like I said, if you're losing, um, you're, if you're on that part of um, the protocol, I wish you the very best and big releases. Um, if you're on P3, um, maintenance is so important. It's so important. And, um, and getting that down to a science and to know what you can do and what you can't do. And um, I never have totally mastered that yet. Um, I mean, I've done pretty good sometimes, but the lower I get, the harder it is for me to master that. Um, and so anyway, uh, and if you're on um, maintenance for life, then um, I'm wishing you the very best. And so um, I will talk to you all later. Bye. As soon as I figure out how to turn it off.